people come literally from all over the world to be witness to this event of incredible odds. You know, each female brings 4,000 eggs here from the ocean and deposits them here in the system. And yet, four years later, it, we're lucky if we get two of those back as, as adults. And it's this incredible struggle between life and death every single day. Every four years, these amazing animals have returned to their birthplace, many cases within meters of where they were born. But, you know, it, it's sort of the end and the beginning all at the same time. Um, the death of the, the salmon is the birth of the child, and the birth of the child, you know, is dependent upon the death of the adult before them. They never meet. They, ne they, they, they never connect like so many other animals do. And so I think that when people come here, they come here to witness that, that moment of transition. And it's a very powerful and poignant story for people. It's really, um, you know, it sounds like a cliche, but it really is a miracle that they make it and, and uh, you know, four out of 4,000 or something actually make it back. It's uh, pretty spectacular. When they go out to the ocean, they go a long ways. These fish that are spawned up in, you know, near the, near the Rocky Mountains up in the upper Fraser will go you know, several hundred kilometers, over a thousand kilometers out to the mouth of the Fraser, then up along the coast, up into the Gulf of Alaska. So they're traveling several thousand kilometers in their lives, and then they come back. And so it's a, it's a massive migration. Every four years, there's this massive population year, which is what we're in now. And then there's a, a shadow year, about half as many. It's called a subdominant run. And there's two years of really relative quiet. But generally speaking, it's evolved to be on this four-year cycle. So 2009 got a lot of attention because we had unexpectedly low returns. The total run size that year was about 1.5 million sockeye coming back to the Fraser. Uh, four years previous to that, we had in the order of 7 million. So that was a significant decline and raised concerns. Uh, where we're at today, obviously, looking at about 19.6 or 19.8 million uh, coming back to the Fraser. And um, I would say things perhaps looking a little better for Fraser Sockeye than people feared back in 2009. <laughs> We used to see returns like this on a regular basis over a hundred years ago. One thing that we do know about Fraser sockeye is they're um, being increasingly affected by climate change. We have in the Fraser River increasing high water temperatures in the summer and we have a number of weeks now in, the, in a lot of summers where the water temperatures reach a lethal threshold for salmon. And that's going to increase as, as the climate warms and as the river system increasingly changes as a result of that. We have this abundant planet that we all share. And when you look at the cosmos and the universes around us, it's an anomaly. It's, it's, it's something so unique that has come together from so many thousands of potential disastrous conditions. And we have a responsibility to care for it. We have a responsibility to be a part of it. And we have a responsibility to embrace what it teaches us. And I think when we do that, then we will become part of the planet we manage. <laughs>